All right, thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, we are here to talk about the Give Atlanta Fundraising Challenge hosted by Atlanta Magazine uh, in partnership this year with uh, the Mighty Cause platform. So today we're really going to focus on all that you need to know to get started with this year's campaign. So uh, just a brief agenda for us today, we're gonna cover the basics of the Fundraising Challenge, uh, what you need to know to get started on the platform. We'll go over some of the details about the prizes and bonuses that will be available during the challenge. And with a reminder on some of the most important details to keep in mind, and then have some time for questions at the end. So again, feel free to type into that GoToWebinar control panel if you do have questions throughout, and we will make time to answer questions at the end. Uh, my name is Bethany. I'm the director of the community team here at Mighty Cause, and um, I will be working with the team at Atlanta Magazine to uh, communicate with you uh, throughout the rest of this challenge. So now to get started with just some of the basics of this campaign. So first, before we get into the details of Give Atlanta in particular, um, I wanted to just take a quick moment to talk about how does a fundraising challenge work in general. If this is your first time or your organization has participated before, but maybe you're new to the concept of fundraising challenges, uh, always helps to uh, get started with a little bit of context. So um, really, a challenge like this is about bringing groups together to raise money for a cause uh, or multiple causes. So um, there is a group of nonprofits coming together as a part of the Give Atlanta Challenge. It's your opportunity to spread awareness of your organization, your mission, raise funds. Um, you have this kind of focused time period, this focused initiative that you have an opportunity to use as a talking point with your donors and supporters to get them on board. There's all kinds of fun elements like prizes, bonuses, leaderboards that we'll talk about that make it a little more exciting for you, give you as an, as an organization more opportunity to uh, make this an impactful campaign for your organization because you can walk away with extra funds over and above uh, what you actually raise online through the platform. So again, just a little bit about what a fundraising challenge is in general. And now to dig in on the Give Atlanta Challenge in particular. As I already mentioned, it's hosted by Atlanta Magazine. Um, Trisha Fusco from Atlanta Magazine is with us on the webinar today. So if you do have any questions that are more uh, geared towards her and the magazine, please feel free to type those in and, uh, and we will uh, be able to hear from her uh, during the Q&A. Um, it is going to be a 17-day campaign. We'll be starting on October 7th, uh, that's a Wednesday, and ending on Friday, October 3rd. We're gonna start and end right at noon, so it'll be in the middle of your workday. Uh, hopefully, um, an easy opportunity to uh, coordinate your communications, your plan for the campaign, starting and ending around that noon time frame. Uh, and this year for the prizes, Atlanta Magazine is giving away uh, $160,000 in advertising spend as a part of this campaign. So again, that's on top of anything that your nonprofit is able to raise directly uh, through your own challenge page. You have the opportunity to win lots of additional support in terms of in-kind advertising that you'll have access to with Atlanta Magazine. And uh, as I already mentioned, uh, I'm here for the Mighty Cause team. Mighty Cause is the technology platform partner uh, that is supporting the Give Atlanta Challenge this year. So <clears throat> some of you are uh, already familiar with Mighty Cause perhaps, but for anyone that's not, we're a year round online fundraising platform. Um, nonprofits can use the platform year round for fundraising needs, peer to peer donation page for their website all kinds of other great stuff. But one of the big things that we do is partner with organizations like Atlanta Magazine uh, to provide support for these types of giving challenges and giving events. So 
Um, great place to start is what do you need to do to participate? What does it really look like to be a part of this challenge? So the very first step is to register. Now, <clears throat> you have already purchased your advertising through Atlanta Magazine, and so you've been invited to participate. So the registration process is a very quick, simple form on the Give Atlanta website. Just make sure that you have access to your organization's page on the platform so that you can make edits, access your donor data, all that great stuff. So first step is fill out that registration form. It will take you less than five minutes for sure. Uh, so that's a great next step. If anybody's on today's call that has not yet completed that form, go to giveatlanta.mightycause.com and you'll see a big uh, button to register, complete that form. That's something you can knock out of your to-do list quickly today. So after you register, you'll want to update your profile page, customize it, and then focus on planning your fundraising campaign. So what are you going to do off the platform to uh, drive donors to give to your campaign, whether that's social media, email, et cetera. Um, think about uh, who else you might be able to engage to uh, support your campaign, whether they actually are going to sign up as a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser and fundraise on behalf of your organization, or just maybe help you spread the word. And then uh, once the challenge begins, you can just focus on uh, raising money. <clears throat> so once you have registered, <clears throat> you will be granted access to your organization's profile and account on the platform. And so you will have access to a dashboard that kind of walks you through uh, all of the fundraising tools uh, that you have access to. So I'm going to start with a quick overview of that dashboard, what you can access where, and then uh, we'll dig deeper into the key areas that you'll want to pay attention to and update. So first item you'll see on your dashboard is an overview. Uh, this is going to give you uh, an update on some of your key metrics. Uh, as you move throughout the campaign and you have donations and donor activity, this will be even more exciting to look at. Um, there is also a to-do list here on this page uh, that will walk you through the five, uh, five of the most important things that you can make sure are complete and up-to-date for this year's campaign. <clears throat> the next item down the dashboard is your fundraising tools. So through fundraising, you'll be able to access this profile page. That's the page that you'll <clears throat> share with supporters. That's the page that you'll want to edit and customize. You'll also have the opportunity to start and manage any fundraising campaigns. So if you do have individual start peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers for your organization, you can manage that through the campaigns tab. If you have the opportunity to secure a matching grant from a local business or a corporate partner, maybe your board of directors, for example, you can access and add matching grants. Uh, and finally, you can customize the experience within the checkout flow for donors all through that fundraising tab. The next item down the dashboard is going to be your reports. So this will be where you access all of your donor data, online donations, offline donations. Um, <clears throat> if you've used the platform before, if you maybe participated in any other event, you might have access to a donor retention report. Um, <clears throat> And you'll all have a disbursement report. So after you receive donations and they get dispersed to your organization, you'll have access to a detailed report, which gives you all the information you need to know to reconcile the funds you receive uh, with your <clears throat> with the donations on the platform. And finally, your settings. That's going to be uh, all those basic settings, how to control who has access to your page, um, reviewing your address. Uh, setting up a uh, direct deposit disbursement, etc. So digging in a little bit further on the profile, this is going to be uh, one of the key areas that you're really focusing on uh, in the setup to this campaign. So as I mentioned already, this is going to be the main link that you're going to share with supporters. Uh, this is where you're going to send them so that they can make a donation to your organization as a part of this challenge. So you want to customize the look and feel of this page. <clears throat> I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. 
but I'm going to come back to that to-do list that I mentioned before, where there's five key items that we encourage all nonprofits to complete, adding a logo, adding a background image, adding a story to their page, updating the thank you page, and setting up their direct deposit disbursement. So those are the five key items on the to-do list. As you complete those items, they will be knocked off on your to-do list, and it's a great way to make sure that you're making progress in getting your organization ready for this year's campaign. So before I dig into how to customize your profile, it's really a great way to think about using this page to tell a story to your donors. So you'll be sending emails, posting on social media, um, whatever you're doing to get donors to your page. Once they land on the page, you have to sell them. You have to get them excited about supporting your organization. So that's really the way to look at this profile page. How can you help this tell a story that gets your donors encouraged to make their donation? <clears throat> so uh, one of the first things that you can do in customizing this profile is editing the theme. And this is really your opportunity to make the look and feel of the profile page really align with your organization. So you can upload your logo. That'll be a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. That's going to be the same as you use for Facebook, Instagram, etc. So you should have a logo of this size ready to upload. You can uh, upload a background image, uh, or you can select one from our gallery if you don't have one or you're working to get a great image. This is really meant to be kind of a background image just for kind of context. Uh, so not uh, something super critical that you want visible on all devices, but really more just kind of to help set the scene for donors, uh, help connect them to your organization. You can add a filter over this banner if you'd like, um, play around with the strength to really make sure that the logo pops off of that background image. Uh, and finally, you can select a theme color for the page. So uh, that's a great opportunity to kind of reinforce your branding, choosing a color from your logo, and then that will be uh, kind of continued throughout your profile page, uh, linking back to that main theme color that you've chosen. Really the meat of the page is uh, your story section. Uh, this is where you have the opportunity to tell donors why they should make a donation to your organization. So you'll have an inline editor, so that gives you the opportunity to tell the story in a more dynamic way, rather than just a block of text you can add formatting, headers, bullets, lists, etc. You can add images, videos, links, emojis, uh, whatever is helpful to you in terms of helping your key message really jump off the page for the donors and visitors. <clears throat> On the, through the reports section of your dashboard, you'll have access to your donations report and disbursements report, as I mentioned. So every time you receive an email, I mean a donation, excuse me, through the Give Atlanta Challenge, anybody who's an administrator for your organization will receive a notification email automatically. If you are getting tons of emails because you're getting way too many donations, and that's a great problem to have, but it's clogging up your inbox, you can always go into your profile settings on the platform and uh, change the notification settings. Um, at any time, whether you're getting those notifications or not, uh, anyone who is an approved administrator for your organization can log in to the platform and access a real-time donation report. So you'll be able to see uh, throughout the challenge all uh, the donors that have contributed to your campaign in real time. <clears throat> so the funds that you raise during the challenge will be uh, dispersed via direct deposit on a twice a month schedule. So uh, you can sign up for direct deposit through the settings tab, and then uh, you'll receive funds uh, on a twice monthly basis. Uh, if you don't sign up for electronic funds transfer, we send a check once a month. So uh, EFT is a great way to make sure that you receive your funds more quickly. Uh, no issue of it getting lost in the mail, or maybe you're not at your office right now. Uh, if you're working remote. Um, so definitely encourage you to sign up for direct deposit disbursements. Uh, and as I already mentioned, 
Uh, anytime a disbursement is sent to your organization, you will have access to a detailed disbursement report, which will help you reconcile all the details, what donations were included, what fees, if any, were included, what fees were covered by donors, etc. <clears throat> so I mentioned earlier that you'll have the opportunity to customize the checkout experience for your donors. So of course, the platform has built in a donation flow that is constantly tested and optimized to be um, to improve conversion on mobile, desktop, across all devices. But within that process, we have some opportunities for you to customize the experience for your organization. So you can choose what data you'd like to collect. If, for example, a uh, phone number is a really critical piece of data for you to collect from donors, you can toggle on a switch to ask for that information from donors when they're completing their checkout. You also have the option to set custom donation suggestions. So for example, $25 buys um, a meal for a family of four for a week. If that is the case, you can add that information in. So it's a great way to kind of connect a donor's donation to a, a more tangible impact with what that dollar amount can incur, can achieve within your organization. You'll also have the opportunity after you customize to preview the checkout flow so that you know exactly what the donation experience looks like start to finish, including the thank you process once the donation is complete. You'll have the option to build a thank you page. You can add photos, videos, text, uh, et cetera to that thank you page that donors see after they complete their gift. And you can also add customized language to the receipt that automatically gets sent to donors when they complete their donation. I mentioned matching grants uh, briefly earlier. This is a great tool that you have access to on the Mighty Cause platform. Uh, also a great strategy to take advantage of to make the most of this year's campaign. Uh, if you are able to secure a matching grant from a corporate partner or local business that you are affiliated with or board members, or you just have a major donor that, that might be willing to uh, re adjust their gift to uh, make it as a match for this year's campaign, that match can be added to your Give Atlanta Challenge page and then that will help encourage donors visitors to the page that their donation can go further because not only are you part of this give atlanta challenge which has all these great prizes and bonuses available but there is an additional match incentive available and their match can be doubled tripled etc during a specific time window so um, the match doesn't have to be paid through the platform it certainly can if the matching donor would like to, um, but it's really there as an opportunity to uh, add that visibility so that donors can get excited about the opportunity for their donation to be matched. Um, and there's lots of flexibility on how you want that match to work. Uh, as I mentioned, one-to-one -one match, two-to-one match. Um, you can also have it uh, your match work so that you only receive your match if a certain number of donations are made to your page. Um, so, you know, only if you get 20 donations do you unlock a certain match, depending on your goals as an organization and or uh, for your matching donor, there's some flexibility in terms of how to set that up. <clears throat> and the settings, again, we've mentioned this a little bit before, but the key things that you'll be able to access and update through your settings page are uh, one, the ability to add or remove admins. So only one person from your organization will need to um, complete the registration process to make sure that your organization is a part of the Give Atlanta Challenge site. After you have registered for uh, the event, you can log into your settings page, click on this admins box here, and you'll be able to add any additional members of your team that need to have access. If maybe your organization has used the platform in the past and you have old administrators that no longer work at your organization, you also have the ability to remove those from uh, your administrator list as well. You can do other things here like updating your uh, legal name and address. You can sign up for EFT disbursement here, uh, as well as customize the social share experience for when you share that profile page on social media. 
and customize the end of your URL. <clears throat> so one of the things that we want to make sure that all participating organizations are aware of is the nonprofit toolkit that we have built to help make fundraising during this year's Give Atlanta Challenge easier. So uh, a great example is today's webinar. The registration for today's webinar was included on that toolkit. And as soon as today's webinar is over, the recording of today's webinar will be available on demand during uh, as a part of that toolkit. Um, same with the next webinar that we have coming up. You can also through here uh, follow a step-by-step -step guide of what do you need to do to get ready for the challenge. You can access all kinds of great resources like a planning guide, a checklist, templates for email and social media, um, and there will be logos and photos added as well that you can use to uh, build out your branding and communications so that they're aligned with the challenge and you don't have to create everything entirely on your own. So definitely make sure you visit the uh, Give Atlanta Challenge site and find that nonprofit toolkit so that you can take advantage of the resources that we have built and customized for you. So now getting into some of the fun stuff, the prizes and the bonuses. So we've talked about it a little bit before. Of course, all the funds that you raise in the challenge will be sent to your organization. <clears throat> and prizes and bonuses are just an additional opportunity to get even more out of the challenge, to have an even greater impact. So these prizes and bonuses, whether you actually win them or not, uh, they can be helpful to your campaign by promoting the fact that there are these prizes and bonuses available to your donors. You can get your donors even more excited about making their gift encourage them uh, to add a little bit of urgency to their gift. Why is it important for them to make their gift now instead of waiting till the end of the year, for example? Uh, so it's always helpful to really understand what the prizes and bonuses are and think about how you can uh, build that into your communications plan with your donors. So we'll start with the grand prizes that are available. So the top three organizations that raise the most dollars during the entire challenge window will win grand prizes. So again, starting October 7th, all the way through Friday, October 23rd, that will be your window to be uh, raising funds for the grand prize, <clears throat> grand prizes. So first prize will win uh, over $75,000 uh, in advertising for the next calendar year. Second prize, over 38,000 in advertising. And third prize, nearly 20,000 in advertising. So really significant opportunities there to, uh, to add to your advertising budget for the year ahead. On top of the grand prizes, which will last the full length of the challenge, uh, there are other bonus challenges that will be going on during the uh, in the middle of the window to help keep it more exciting, give you more to focus on, uh, and provide more chances to win. So um, the first bonus challenge is going to kick off right when the campaign starts on October 7th, and it's going to go through Thursday, October 15th. So it's the first half of the challenge window. And during this window, the top two organizations that raise the most dollars, get the most dollars to their campaign, will be eligible for the first and second prize, a full page four color ad for first prize and a half page four color ad for second prize. And then in the second half of the challenge, bonus challenge number two will kick off. Uh, again here, it's the top two organizations but this time the focus will be on the most unique donors that give to your campaign. So if the same donor gives to your campaign multiple times in the second half of the challenge, they'll still only count as one unique donor as, this, as far as this challenge is concerned. So again, first prize wins a full page ad and second prize will win a half page ad. These uh, challenges will be uh, live in real time uh, during the bonus window. So there will be a leaderboard visible on the site, which shows, 
uh, what organizations are um, in the running for the uh, top places here. That's gonna be the same with the grand prizes as well. There will be a grand prize leaderboard that's visible throughout the challenge. So at any time during the challenge, you can come to the Give Atlanta site and see how you're doing in the race for the grand prizes. And if you're in fifth place, for example, and you know only the top three uh, win the prizes, that's a great opportunity for you to use that as a rallying cry for your donors and supporters to help you move up the leaderboard. Uh, the last bonus challenge is going to be active for the full length of the challenge window, just like those grand prizes starting on the 7th of October, going all the way through the 23rd. And this one is really about encouraging organizations to get the most active fundraisers to support their campaign. So the organization that gets the most active fundraisers will win, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, $5,000 in digital advertising spend on atlantamagazine.com. So to be considered an active fundraiser, an individual has to create and publish their page before the challenge starts on the 7th so that they can be included uh, in the competition. And they have to receive donations from five unique donors during the campaign. So if somebody creates a page and uh, just has one or two donations or just makes a donation to their own page, they wouldn't be considered active as a part of this challenge. So the goal here is really to um, activate these individuals to be successful fundraisers on your behalf. And um, uh, our next webinar will dig a little bit deeper into peer-to-peer -peer fundraising strategy, uh, what you can do to um, recruit and support these fundraisers during the challenge so that you can help them be successful. So, uh, to close it out, we are going to cover, uh, just remind about a few key important details that you'll want to remember, keep in mind for uh, this year's campaign. <clears throat> so uh, first, and we've covered this a few times, but it's one of the most important things, so it's worth highlighting again. Uh, the challenge will start on Wednesday, October 7th at 12 o'clock noon Eastern time and it will end on Friday, October 23rd, also at 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. So you can go ahead and uh, set your calendar reminders for those dates and times uh, right now so that you are all set to go for the challenge. The, the next webinar that we have coming up, uh, I just mentioned it a few minutes ago, we'll be talking much more about strategy, digging it a little bit uh, deeper into what you can do to be successful, communication strategies, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, as I just talked about, how you can really be successful and win those prizes and bonuses. Um, that's going to be Wednesday, September 9th at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so you'll be able to sign up for that right from that nonprofit toolkit that I mentioned earlier. So um, make that toolkit your friend, bookmark that page, go back to grab resources, go back to watch the recording of today's webinar and sign up to attend the next webinar coming up. And throughout the whole challenge uh, and in the lead up to the challenge, uh, you have uh, support here in the Mighty Cause team to help you be successful. So uh, we are here to help with any technical questions. You know, how do I add a logo to my page? Uh, how do I access my donations report? Whatever it might be, uh, you can always uh, reach out to us. Our email address is support at mightycause.com and our phone number is listed right here. We're available Monday to Friday, nine to five. Feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to uh, help get you uh, set up and ready for the challenge. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's any questions that have come in. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to ask any questions yet, but you have some, feel free to type it into that uh, go to webinar control panel. And it doesn't look like we have any questions just yet. So um, with that, 
I'll, uh, I'll give it just a moment to see if anybody is uh, typing, adding a question in. Uh, and if not, again, you can always feel free to reach out to us at support at mightycause.com. If you do have questions that pop up after today's webinar or as you're going through the process of building out your challenge page and campaign. Uh, and uh, again, good luck with the challenge. If you haven't registered yet, that's a great next step to do right when you sign off today's webinar. And uh, one question did just come in, uh, how to access this presentation. Again, uh, we will be adding the recording to the nonprofit toolkit on the Give Atlanta Challenge page. So uh, visit giveatlanta.mightycause.com, uh, make your way to the nonprofit toolkit. That's where you can sign up for the next webinar and access the recording of this one. So again, thanks everyone for uh, joining um, and uh, we will be in touch soon. Thank you.